please welcome Savannah, Chase, and Todd Chrisley. you survived uh, six seasons. And I'm gonna tell you why. 100 episodes. I'm gonna tell you why, I'm gonna tell you why. I was a non-believer myself. But you know what I find? Even now, when I turn on your show, it's just such easy watching. And you, you do it in marathon forms. Sometimes they play it like in marathon right. forms. It's easy watching. You've got your mother splitting her lily. <laughs> You know, your wife who puts up with your shenanigans, mm -hmm. the kids who you try to keep in line, mm -hmm. your, your um, black granddaughter. Biracial Wendy. <laughs> it takes two. Black granddaughter. <laughs> and, and, and your son who wants nothing to do with the show. Mm -hmm. So he's moved away. Mm -hmm. It's not like the kind of fighting stuff that we want on reality TV. And so that's why I'm surprised that I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I really do, Todd. You know, I, I think, Wendy, that, I mean, don't we have enough of the fighting? I mean, there's other networks for that. Yeah. And, you know, I personally don't feel like that anyone in the country, everyone in the country has something going on in their yes. family. No one has a family that doesn't have, you know, issues. But no one wants to see someone having it worse than what they have it because it's just like misery. But you, can't, you handle it real cute, though. <laughs> like, there's no scene complete unless Todd is on the scene. So I hear that you signed some damn near million dollar production deal to produce a whole bunch of shows well, based off your family? it's more than a million dollars. <laughs> well, now, who are you, Todd Chrisley? What are you doing? Le you know, listen, we are very mm. blessed people is mm. who we are. Um, you know, we have, when we started this show, um, it was, <laughs> it was, you know, I think we kind of <laughs> thought in the beginning, well, you know, if we get 500,000 viewers, you know, we've got something to build. Right. On. And obviously it has gone way past that. And USA Network has been a wonderful partner for us. Mm -hmm. And it gave us a platform that exposed us to so many others that brought other offers in. So we've been very blessed. So Savannah and Chase, the kids. Savannah, you're now 20? I'll be 21 in August. 21, uh-huh. And Chase, how old are you? I'm almost 22. Always up to no good. Do you remember when he was driving oh, around geez. in this spoiled rich kids? He had the white uh, uh, Range Rover and she had the white Mercedes. Neither one of you all knew how to take care of it. Todd, you're chasing them all around town. I'm into the, oh, look, I know stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so look, do you find it difficult to be strict on the kids like they were when they were kids? Because you really can't. Well, I think it's different parenting. I say right now the hardest job I've ever had is parenting young adults. Because, you know, your kids, when they're at home and they're in school, you can kind of try to control some of the surroundings yes. and, and, and some of the riffraff they think they're going to hang out with. Try. And the... When they're adults, you know, what they claim to be adults, uh -huh. um, you know, they go out, they go to college, they hang out with trashy people. Yes, and, yes. And, you know, you don't know, well, I mean, I know by looking at the people yeah. what kind of people <laughs> yes. they come from. We always judge people by the way they look. Well, I mean, listen, if you come to me and you ain't bathed and your hair's all over your head, then you ain't, you're nasty. Woo! So, I mean, I don't need <laughs> so. All right, so now, by the way, how's the little squirt? Adorable. My my granddaughter is. No, no, no Grayson. 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 He does exist. Yeah, you're the child. Well, I mean, I, I'm, oh. I'm in love. I mean, that's the granddaughter. I worship her. I like the rest of them. Uh -huh. But, um, you know, Grayson Grayson's is brilliant. I mean, this is a child that is so far ahead. And <coughs> he's, you know, now they're wanting to bump him up another grade. And we're kind oh. of saying, no, we want oh. him to stay yeah. on his regular path. But he's, he's brilliant. this week, his birthday. Oh. Happy oh, yeah. birthday, Grayson. And now, Savannah, from what I understand, is dating an NHL hockey player. Yeah. All right. Uh, do you, now this has only been going on for under a year. Yes. Mm -hmm. How long? Uh, six months. Uh-huh. Yeah. Is it too soon for us to be talking about this out loud? No. No, it's, huh? it's, Put all the okay. to talk about. Okay. If, if it ends, which I hope it doesn't, but if it ends, it's something I wanted in the moment, so Are you in love? And we've dealt with ending before. Yeah, oh, we have. <laughs> Do you love him? Oh, I mean, yeah. 
As much as you love somebody at 20. Does he have money? Does he squire her around and treat her fancy? Or is daddy well, listen, still filming? You know, I look at it this way. If you're stupid enough to go out here and all the people out here that you be dating and you're going to go for broke, then that's on you. At the end of the day, he has his own money. I have my own money. We do, if he wants How to do get you something. make money? Do I do when the show for hustles. everyone's entertainment? I mean, I do want to entertain people, but I get paid too. I, that's not, oh, okay. I do, I have my own clothing line. There you go, I'm talk starting, girl. Yeah, I'm starting my own fragrance, my cosmetics. Um, there. Yeah, so. And keep it I, don't, I don't have lazy children. And Chase, uh, I recall an episode where your father assigned you, because now they're in real estate, Todd is, assigned you to do a showing for a house, and you bake the cookies, and the house smelled good. Mm -hmm. But I do recall you messed up the whole thing. Now, how are things, <laughs> I mean, the whole sale. How are things going with you and business? Things are good. I, he and I are working on, like, a development deal now, and, like, I've got to work hard because, like, he's going to require a very expensive assisted living. <laughs> Is there any truth to the rumor that you and Riel um, Zolziak were um, an item at one point? Oh, no. Absolutely Thank not. Thank you. No. They did talk. No. She's, <clears throat> like, we've been friends forever. Yes. Like, since we were 15. I want to talk to your father. He knows more. <laughs> he doesn't know anything. <laughs> I, I know that they, that they talked back and forth mm -hmm. for a while, and I love Brielle. I mean, I think she needs to stay off social media sometimes instead of her mama's business. But um, I love her. Different kind of family, though, in terms of, uh, in terms of you guys. I say that you watch who you um, are dealing with. Don't mess up you all's image. Is this one of, <laughs> is this one of you all's spinoff shows, these kids? You know, the, you're going to see a lot of them this year. Well, are you going to be there? I will pop in. You think he's going to let us take over? Well, I think your father... Like, come on. I think that your father's got the biggest personality in the room. He sucks all the energy out. <laughs> And I mean that in the best way. You're very entertaining to me. Well, you know, you're gonna see a lot of the kids this year, and you know, they are adults now. They're you young must adults. be there. And I do still listen, they don't Trust like me. everything he I say. It. Trust Perfect. me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they're not, I don't want my children going out here and acting like heathens, like they've had no raising. <laughs> and um, and you know, because that's embarrassing to us. Yes. And I mean, and, and you know, when your kids go out here and behave badly. There's a certain amount of it that you do as a parent, you absorb because you're like, well, wait a minute, did I not teach them better than that? Yes. And then you get to a point where they continue to be heathens, and you're like, screw it, I know Hold I talk to that. Most nights I'm in bed watching Lifetime, so you can't come at me. Don't be plugging another network. No, I'm not, I'm just saying, I like my movies. So, now, what's the word about you had a stalker? We have a situation with a gentleman It's that, still going on? It, well, it is. I mean, he's been served now, and there's a court date, and, um, you know, he... Have you seen him? Like, could you spot <laughs> well, Ch him? Chase dealt with him. Yeah. Chase? Uh-huh. About what uh, age? He, he, like a... he t like, tucks in his closet and, like, watches this. Uh, oh, I'm not it had to be the closet. It. it had to be the closet. <laughs> 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 um... No, the stalker thing, seriously. Run me through who this person is and what's all going on. I was on. watching television, the doorbell rings, Chase goes to the door, and the guy says, oh, I want you to take a picture with my daughter. And so Chase says, okay. What do you mean, okay, Chase? Why are you being so permissive <laughs> with weirdos walking to your door? <laughs> and and it happens the all that the brought time, Grayson though. out? No, it definitely no. not. And yeah, so... He, and you're okay with him doing this? I didn't know he had done it. I didn't know that that had happened. And then like 10 minutes I'm later, disgusted. the doorbell rings again. Okay. And then I pull up the cameras and I see the guy standing there and uh -huh. Chase comes into the bedroom and he says, it's the same guy that I just took the picture with. So this went on for days. He would not leave the he property. He was like beating on the door. Like we didn't go to the door and he like Why did was you beating call the cops? on the door. We did, we did, we did. We did. Yeah, the police came and he kept saying, I want to take a, I want to come in. He said, he can, said I can I come, come in and take a I picture like, with your dad? I was like, dude, no. So he's after you. Yeah. Going through the kids to get to you. Right. Something like that. Listen, everyone. Todd, as you can see with the big personality, won king of reality. Yeah. Which is a big award for reality people. You beat out T.I. He beat out Gordon Ramsay. Did you get a crown or anything? Those bitches didn't give me anything. <laughs> what? 
You have nothing but a memory from that? A memory. Okay. The fact that you gave me the shout out is enough. Thank you, Todd, as I love you. But I also have something special for you. Okay. Because every queen deserves a crown. Oh. <laughs> and there you have it. Congratulations. I love it. Nice to meet you two. I love and Todd, this. I adore you. Look, get into it. Chrisley Knows Best airs tonight at 10 on USA. We'll be right back.